Hi, uh, Dick Rochford here, aboard the Piper M600 Meridian aircraft with the uh, G3000 avionics suite, which is a major, major upgrade from the G1000. And I want to uh, just discuss a little bit about the, the basics of how this can help a pilot. It's a huge improvement. This. And there are many others in the M600, but the salient features are this, uh, include this G3000 suite with three large screen displays, two pilot uh, PFDs, uh, uh, primary flight displays, and one MFD, all the same size. And then two uh, GTC Garmin uh, controllers, touchscreen controllers, which are the brains of the business. And from these controllers, we control the three uh, large screens. Note that on the, uh, the pilot's PFD at the moment, there's a bright blue bezel around the split screen. And that's indicating that the left side GTC controller, the controller is controlling that screen at the moment. The, the deeper blue, uh, or almost purple, bezel indicates that the right side, GTC, is controlling that information. So, for example, if I wanted to split this screen, add or subtract, range, or do anything with this MFD at this time, I would do it with this controller. So, let's say I wanted to know what data is displayed on this map, so that I'm... Sh I'm sure not to run into anything that I I didn't want. I, I could go to map settings and then look here. I see the traffic is on, the terrain is on, uh, absolute, uh, the graphical METARs are off, weather radar is off, and uh, NEXRAD data is on. Now let's say I wanted to, uh, yesterday we had some weather and, and other videos show that uh, this screen can handle both radar and NEXRAD at the same time, which is a huge advantage. So if I wanted to display, if I had weather, I could display that weather. Uh, although right now, I'd, there's no need to, but let's just look and see. I could go to half screen, and now that deep blue bezel is on this side. So if, if I want to change that display, I can go to weather, because remember now I'm being uh, controlled here. I can choose weather selection. I can choose next rad or weather radar. I can turn on the radar and then control it from here, horizontal, etc., uh, etc. Et so you see now here we have the radar. And now let's set up the other side. We take the left joystick and bring the bright blue bezel over. And now we can range or do anything else we want. First, we have to push. And then we could pan or tilt. Our correction or turn the cursor around. Or we can, can range. So ordinarily, if you're going to do that, you'd set the range of the map to coincide with the value of NEXRAD. That is, we might range out, say, 250 miles, or even all the way out to the destination. With the next red on, and then as we see something coming into the strategic range of the the next red, we might uh, fix radar so we could then tactically view it, understanding that next red is old information, and this is delivery time only. It's not processing time, so it's even older than that, although it's getting better. And this is real-time weather radio, uh, radar uh, weather.